I come from the middle class, and I'll never forget where I come from. My mother worked very hard. Oh, that, that was a totally different time, and if you was middle class then, Oh, you were almost considered rich. Shopping, go to Walmart, buy food, I talk to those people. And you pretend to be a renter in Nashua. A few months ago, walk back to run for this open sea with millions of dollars from Washington, D.C. insiders. And the millions, millions of dollars, I don't have money to run a TV ad. Republicans, they trying to fight back, bro. That's what it seemed like to me. What's your message to Michigan voters in terms of the economy? We have auto workers who are being laid off and those who fear that they might be laid off. The average person can't afford groceries or their rent. And recent polls in Michigan show that Michigan voters believe that Donald Trump would do a better job with handling the economy and bringing jobs back. What do you say to that? Well, let's start with this. I come from the middle class, and I'll never forget where I come from. My mother worked very hard. OK, now, let's not act like that during the 60s, because she was born in the 60s. Let's not act like the 60s middle class wasn't almost rich. Come on now. That, that was a totally different time. And if you was middle class then, oh, you were almost considered rich. So she talking about it like it was some sort of struggle. Check this out. What we discovered in, in science and neuroscience is that the brain doesn't create consciousness. It downloads consciousness. Right. It downloads. And that's what a lot of these Rosicrucians talk about, getting these ideas from our downloads. Yes. about getting downloads. Correct. Downloading is real. When I took that course at MIT in Applied Neuroscience, Dr. Tara Swart was the professor. That's exactly what we were taught in the class. <laughs> really? Facts. And I have her own podcast that I did with her talking about this. We did a, pod, we did a whole wor a workshop together, a private class together called spirituality backed by neuroscience i'll send you a link to it and this is taught about at mit at mit spirituality taught by neuroscience spirituality backed by backed, neuroscience. backed by neuroscience the gap. Exactly. because the science is the background explaining what's happening on the spiritual side what they've discovered is that the two go together they're not to be separated exactly. that we're understanding now that in the quantum field mm. the quantum field and the mathematics is literally explaining spirituality the spirituality is a result of what's happening in the quantum field when you separate it you're lost when you put them together you get the answers exactly that's fascinating but those are facts because you can see that in people who are considered uh human vegetables like after an accident or like they just lose they don't have any consciousness there's no consciousness there because somehow it's been lost due to a brain injury or whatever so they're just sitting there like a human vegetable and um this could kind of prove that though this could kind of prove that consciousness is downloaded it's given to us not we're not born with it you know um and that's why they say you create your own reality so yeah i, I could believe that and hope for the best hope that the results will trickle down to hard-working people i take a very different approach i believe that the middle class deserves a tax cut and I believe that we will do a lot for this country by ensuring that we don't continue this disastrous tax policy. Ms. Conway. You are wealthy. You are worth 20 million to 30 million dollars. How do you know about regular people suffering? Do you go shopping, go to Walmart, buy food? I talk to those people. And you pretend to be a renter in Nashua a few months ago, walk back to run for this open sea with millions of dollars from Washington, D.C. insiders. And the millions, millions of dollars, I don't have money to run a TV ad. Miss Tang is tearing her a new butthole, man. I mean, that's true, though. Like, I, But me personally, I, I believe middle class and the lower class needs a tax break not just the middle class so i don't really agree with what she was saying in the beginning but yeah miss tang tan her butt up you pretend you are poor compared rent is so high you couldn't save that apartment for other people to rent in next one just go back to your two million dollar home in portsmouth please don't say that because you do not understand regular people's concern people cry in my arms on this really? issue these are the type of people we need in office, man. These are the type of people, man. Guys, look at this. Harris won by 52%. Trump lost 47%. What did I tell you guys in my last video? I said when I went to go vote that the guy did not know his name. He had a very thick accent. He did not know his name and his address that was on the ID. If this is true, and if this Jezebel win... This is going to be bad, and they are going to be in for a rude effing awakening. 
I hope they're ready. Hey, this goes back to the immigrant and the border crisis. Why else would they allow it if they weren't going to register these people to vote so that they could possibly win? You know what kills me about black people in America? These niggas will literally crucify you and call you a coon and all types of shit because you voted for Donald Trump. Any black person can come and say anything about me. Hell, a white person can say something about me voting for this man. I wouldn't give four flat tires on a Cadillac 74 DeVille at nighttime in the woods stuck in the mud. That the other side is really any different. For all of the viewers watching, I want to let all of you know that it was the Republican Party in the United States that was founded by black people who abolished. How many times have I said this on the channel? The Republican Party originally were founded by blacks. We needed a way to represent ourselves. And then later on in like the 30s or the 40s, they forced black people to vote them. Not the Democratic Party. Barack Obama was a Democrat. Kamala Harris was a Democrat. When the Civil Rights Act was passed, Lyndon B. Johnson said he was going to have these Negroes voting for Democrat 200 years when they start passing that welfare out. But not only did the Democrats install the welfare system, they also installed women's reproductive rights, the rights to kill your children. And for all my Africans watching, didn't Obama kill Muammar Gaddafi, who was trying to create a central Africa and a central currency that would have bankrupted the rest of the world? Didn't he cause terrorists to spread all the way across the Sahel? Burkina Faso, Mali, northern Nigeria, northern Ghana. Wasn't that Barack Obama? And guess what else Barack Obama did? He gave the LGTV community more rights than he gave black people. They didn't even pass a fucking hate crime. Literally did nothing for people he called his own because he played us like a fool and also made us feel like he was black and he really wasn't. I mean, come on, come on, black folk. We got, we go keep getting food like this. This would be twice that we got food. And we had the same white man that's on that administration tell us that we ain't black, black if we don't vote for him. Well, what the hell color am I? Because I thought I was black. For black people. Asian people got a hate crime bill before the people who built the country from enslavement. The Revelation 2 and 9s got reparations and they weren't even in America. But that's when I say black people in America are divided because how can they sit here and call me a coon for not voting for the same party that's playing in our fucking face? As if voting gonna change shit anyway. The only thing that can save us is if we connect with our roots back home in Africa and we rebuild Africa. That's the only thing that can save us. I don't know about that one right there. I don't know about that one. I don't agree with that one. Get power in Africa. We will have power all over the world. That's the foundation. That's where it starts. But I just called him. I, I needed that spiritual kind of um, connection. I needed that advice. I needed a prayer. And um, And there's a... There's a part of the scripture that talks about Esther and a time such as this, and, um, and that's what we talked about. And it was very comforting for me. And, um, you and yeah. Every day? I do pray every day. I do pray every day, sometimes twice a day. Um, I, you know, my, I grew up so... We grew up uh, in a little neighborhood church in Oakland, 23rd. The way she be explaining herself so cringe, like she's nothing without a teleprompter. I don't stumble over my words when I'm telling y'all how I grew up and where I came from because it's vivid to me. I'm not fabricating a story. It is what it is. You know, I grew up in the projects. That's where I'm from. We grew up poor. We didn't have the things that the middle class kids had. You know, this is how we grew up and this is what I saw. I saw the guns, the drugs, the killings. I saw all of these things because that was my life. That wasn't her life. Church of God. And um, I was raised to believe in a loving God. To believe that your faith is a verb. You know? Her mom is an Indian. What the hell God is she talking about? You... You, you live your faith, and um, and that that the way that one should do that is that 
your work and your life's work should be to think about how you can serve in a way that is uplifting other people, um, that is about caring for other people. And um, that guides a lot of how I think about my work and and um, what is important. But I just y'all know that's bull crap. Bull crap. Wake up, black folk. It says some loved him until they couldn't publicly. He switched from Democrat to Republican and they flipped like a cult. He didn't change. They did. He helped them all. I mean, to call the man a racist is just beyond me. And all I knew growing up, and I seen Donald Trump, never knew him as a politician, just a billionaire who was always mingling with black folk. He was that one black, that one white person you could look at and be like, yeah, he cool. He normal like you know it's normal to see him. You feel me? He even went on an episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which was a fully black cast. Come on, man, it ought to tell you something. Yeah, the lies, the lies, the lies. <gasps> what is that? Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. What is this? Holy moly. Oh my God. What is that? What is that? I repeat, couple of UFOs. I repeat, couple of UFOs. UFOs coming down from the sky. Holy shit. Oh my God. I need to. Oh my God. I need to. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If I can do that. Look, 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 look. Oh my word. I cannot believe what I'm watching right now. I don't know if that's real or not. Look like a big cloud that made a weird shape or it looked like a funnel cloud that was about to turn into a tornado. I don't know. Okay, so here we are um, at the camp. We'll just call it the camp. Um... We rode over there again this morning. Some things have changed around. They've added some more of those green, um, whatever they are, refrigerator. Oh, my God, I can't even think. They're for refrigeration. Anyway, the guy also told us um, that the staging camp is for all of the people that have been brought in here to work. So, you know, people have come from all over to help out. And so that's what this camp is staged for, to uh, give them shelter, hot meals, whatever they need. I don't know, guys. I just, the more I think about it, I'm just not feeling what he said. I, there's no people over there. And if you were staging a camp to help the workers that have come in from all the different states, which is wonderful and appreciated, why would you do it here? This is not where all the big damage is. We have some damage, yes. The city of Asheville has, you know, a, a good amount of damage, yes. But nothing, nothing compared to, you know, Black Mountain, Swannanoa, and all those places up higher. So this makes no sense to me. Please help me make it make sense. The man told us, not to mention they're loaded, right? There's There was five guys there, all armed. And he's telling me, you know, it's not bad and it's not dangerous. Then why are you all completely armed? You know, they had nice faces. They were smiling. They were very friendly. 
But, you know, he just kept saying, there's nothing to fear here, nothing to fear here, which makes me fear here. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, this is a stage in Campton. This is just for all the people that are, you know, uh, graciously come in here to help us so that they can come over here and, you know, be housed or take showers or whatever. And then about the, you know, tornado thing. Well, those were for Milton and Florida. Well, there's a lot of states that are way closer to Florida that you could set this. This is a more recent video. This was like from, uh, what it said, October the 25th. So, uh, yeah, that was like last month. And, and it kind of makes you ask, though. That means that these people are still with doubt up there in North Carolina, man? That's crazy, man. Up. I mean, so if, if after the hurricane you were worried about tornadoes, why are you having these tornado shelters here in Candler, North Carolina, which is, you know, eight, nine, 10, 11 hours away from where the tornado, I mean, tornado, Hurricane Milton was. It makes zero sense to me. The more I think about it, the more I'm just like, I don't, I don't believe it. I really need you guys to chime in and tell me what you think. And please share this because I do want to hear people's opinions. I'm not saying that I'm 100% right, but I live here and I see it. And I can only go with my gut. So he's saying a staging camp for the people that have come here to help us. But why they would have this here, especially it's right off of Route 40, which is no no good. You can't even go to Tennessee, you know, from there. So that makes no sense. Um, you know, a major highways, you know, screwed. It's done. So I just don't get why it's here. I, I don't. Help me. What do you think? People can... With his daughter. But his daughter is a very dumb individual. Very dumb. She's a radical war hawk. Let's put her with a rifle standing there with nine barrels shooting at her, okay? Let's see how she feels about it. You know, when the guns... And they completely misconstrued everything Donald Trump was saying. It became big news, too. And they're trying to hurt his campaign. But let me break down for those who don't understand what he was talking about. He was talking about the fact that Liz Cheney is a war hog and they like war because it pays big bucks. But she's not being considerate of the people who have to actually go out there and fight. Let's see how she feels if she has to go into the battlefield. That is exactly what he was saying. People are saying that he was calling for her execution. No, he was not. No, he was not. He was saying that what if you went out there and had to fight those people and bullets are hauling at your face and going past you super fast and you're getting hit with bullets. How would you feel? You're okay with sending these people in danger, but you wouldn't send yourself there. Yeah, the news media outlet, man, is, is evil, man. Evil. Dirt her face. She kills people. She wanted to, uh, even in my administration, she was pushing that uh, we go to war with everybody. And I said, did you ever get... See? He's saying that even when she was a part of his administration, she was pushing to go to war with everybody. Because war pays, man. Her rifle would let her do the fighting. If you ever do that, she wouldn't be doing too well, I will tell you right now. But she's a war hawk. She wants to go kill people unnecessarily. And if, you, if she had to do it herself and she had to face the consequences of battle, she wouldn't be doing it. So it's easy for her to talk. See, he's saying that if she had to face, face the consequences of battle, she would not be sending people out there. That's all he was saying. He wouldn't be doing it. Uh, she's actually a disgrace. Simple as that. People always try to put words into this man's mouth, man. Oh my God, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm puzzled, kid. Like, <laughs> what's going on here, dog? For real. Oh, this ain't nothing new, man. Bunch of grown men in the shower together, bathing and watching each other's butts. Yeah, that ain't never set right with me. Even when I played football in high school, I was I never, never wanted to shower with everybody else. Nope. I would wait till everybody else got their showers out of the way and get mine out of the way. So yeah, this ain't nothing new with the You, you just eye my man down like like he was a bad chick, bro. What what was it was it the green in the hair? Bro, and then you bitch a lip.
You had, and you had this look in your eyes, before man. Before I let you go, can I get a kiss tonight, babe? Before I let you go, can I get a kiss? You know what makes me special? I'm a queer. And I'm a witch! Well, I told her, I said, look, I'm going to have to call the law on you if you don't leave. And she said, look, I'm going to stab myself. And when they get here, I'm going to tell them you did it. What? You're going to go to prison. You're going to lose every sponsor you had. The UFC is going to cut you. I'm going to take everything from you. She said, I will take everything from you. So I'm sitting here. I can't call the law. I can't do, I don't know what to do at this point. And then she starts speaking in tongues because that demon had manifested. I'm no longer talking to a yeah. person. I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to leave. She looks at me and she says, you will have three children. They will all die and you will lose every oh, fight for the wow. rest of you. So she cursed my family and she cursed my fighting career right before she left. And I'm not talking like curse words like F you and this. I'm oh, talking, I get it. She yeah. cursed. And I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, you'll do nothing. Cause at that point, that second I became a, a Christian because I seen what that, that name of Jesus Christ, if you just simply speak the name of Jesus, it will cast out demons. Even though I'm this rotten sinner who's hated Jesus his whole life because I didn't know him. The second I turned to Jesus Christ, that demon was casted out and she He's gone. I want to play a little bit of what Donald Trump said last night about protecting women. I said, well, I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. I'm going to protect them. All right. Why is Donald Trump telling women he will do things whether they like it or not? John, that is grossly inaccurate what you just played. Play the full clip. Play it in its context. He was talking about the tragedy at our southern border that led to the death of Jocelyn Nungare. Jocelyn's mother has come out and endorsed Donald Trump because she fully believes that if Donald Trump was president, her daughter would be alive. And so what he was talking about was, I'm going to protect women. I'm going to protect children. And then he was just telling a joke. A, a, really, he was telling a joke about how some of the staff said, no, don't say you would protect women because they would take it out of context, obviously what CNN is doing right now, taking it no, out of context. No, 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 no. You're, you're actually, you, know, you, have, you, have, you have the exact right, con you have the, you have the exact right context. You have the exact right context. See, they try to cut him off when they realize that he wasn't with the games that they were playing. Byron gonna always speak his mind. Always. Illegal alien of criminals who have raped and who have murdered women in the United States. Congressman, you, you, Congressman you, you just explained the Harris exact right killed. context. They said, sir, I just think then, then you admitted it. You just explained the exact right context. But he threw the question out there to see if Byron was going to roll with the lie. You, you, you know that man stands. Why would you do that? It's inappropriate for you to say. I said, well, I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. 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 I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. If that doesn't show you that they are trying to destroy this man's campaign with everything that they got, I don't know what else to tell you. You just fool. You a fool. You a fool. That's what you is. If you don't see that all the news media is trying to make this man seem like a bad person, you a fool. Kamala has imported criminal migrants from prisons and jails, from insane asylums and mental institutions all over the world, from Venezuela to the Congo, including savage criminals who assault, rape, and murder our women and girls. Anyone who would let monsters kidnap and kill our children does not belong anywhere near the Oval Office. And my people told me about four weeks ago, I was saying, no, I want to protect the people. I want to protect the women of our country. I want to protect the women. Sir, please don't say that. Why? They said, we think it's, we think it's very inappropriate for you to say, I said, why? I'm president. I want to protect the women of our country. They said... They said, sir, I just think it's inappropriate for you to say, pay these guys a lot of money. Can you believe it? I said, well, I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. I'm going to protect them. And you know what sad is? Somebody that is voting for Kamala or Kamala, whatever her name is, somebody that's voting for her will look at that, the actual truth, and still say, oh, he's a pig. Oh, no, that's a lie. Da, 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 with their whole heart. So this is real clear politics, and this is what the votes are so far, the electoral college votes. I highly doubt that's accurate. If you want to see the real votes, 
go to the house. These are votes for the house. This Ooh, is what wee. the real map looks like. Oh my god. Because nobody votes. Man, do y'all see that, man? I'm telling you. It's people out here saying Kamala is doing this. Kamala is doing that. We love Kamala. We're going for Kamala. But behind them cameras, they like, yeah, now nah, I'm voting for Trump. <laughs> I'm voting for Trump. As quiet as kept. I'm telling you. For a Republican representative and then a Democrat president. They all vote the party lines. This is the real vote. I'm telling y'all, bro. People like, I pray you're correct. Stop praying so much and go do your own research. Praying is good, but it can only do so much. Go and look for yourself. When somebody said on my on my on one of my videos, I think it was yesterday, they was like, "Oh, I hope we this. I hope that." Stop hoping. We have to affirm this, and the only way you can affirm it is if you say this with confidence. He is going to be president. Stop hoping. Hope is nothing but a mirror for a dream. That's it. And we all know dreams don't come true unless we put the work in. It is actually on this app that every parent needs to know about. It's called Likey. It's like the pedophile version of Instagram. It is out of some country like Singapore, and the United States has no control over it whatsoever. And literally, it will tell you everything about a kid that's on there. Shut and what? she ended up talking to like this person in like Ohio. She was starting to take pictures. <gasps> and this is my 10 year old daughter. Like, it was crazy. She was sending this person pictures of herself? Yeah, at oh 10. My Listen to. Every parent needs to look out for this app. It's called Likey. L-I-K-E-E. -E, Likey. Nah, for real. A few years ago, I used to let my daughter get on Likey, but then I started to see certain unknown accounts respond to her pictures and ask weird questions, so I took her off of it. So, yeah, y'all might want to check it. I didn't even know Likey was still a thing. It's funny because they just putting it right in y'all face. And y'all refuse to see it. For what it is see he gonna fund the campaigns that's gonna allow him to further his agenda and y'all know he's been buying up all the farmland but as soon as trump get in there all that is over with y'all refuse to see that woman for who she really is bro all the billionaires endorsing her and gave her money but bro y'all just refuse to see it for what it is bro that woman ain't no good, bro. She really a piece of shit. But whatever. Yep. If y'all allow that woman to get in there, it's over with. It is a hard pill to swallow and one of the hardest things to convince city council of. Mayor Brandon Johnson proposing in his 2025 budget a $300 million property tax increase. He says that is the only way to bridge a budget gap that's nearing $1 billion. It came down to either mass layoffs, curbing vital city services, or an increase in property taxes. I would certainly much rather tax the rich, but I did have to make the choice to increase our property taxes. To balance that budget, Mayor- Damn, damn. So basically what the mayor is saying that he had no choice because he didn't want to lay people off and whatever the other thing was. So the only better choice was so that people could keep their jobs was to raise property tax. I mean, to 300 million though. Then proposes to in part increase property taxes by $300 million. Get rid of over 700 full-time jobs that are currently vacant, 400 of which are positions within the Chicago Police Department. It's not clear how many are civilian and how many are sworn. This is not the time for a substantial property tax increase. When you're in a community and you're, and you're fighting and you come from a marginalized, already disinvested community and to say, hey, residents, I'm going to raise your taxes, they're going to kill me. The use of these private companies has helped mask from public view where the public dollars have flowed. What we didn't know until now is how much the property owners of the migrant shelters were earning. But thanks to a new lawsuit, we're being provided some more clarity. When we attempted to ask Mayor Brandon Johnson about this at the time, he said this. Again, we're meeting you right where you are. Were it not for this new lawsuit, the public would have no idea how much these property owners are earning. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Thank well, you. We so pressed much the mayor about this last week and asked if he would consider adding the information to the city's website. He said this. We have given an accurate account 
of how dollars have been spent. Th that's it? Is, is there anything that would preclude your administration from sharing that level of there's, detail? There's no information that has been, that has been kept from you. Johnson then reiterated talking points he's made before. You know, I mean, we go going to pray for Chicago, man, because that's ridiculous right there. But let me say this, man. The best way to survive everything that's going on, the inflation, the property tax increases, the tax increases, is to save. Whatever you don't spend, you got to change your lifestyle. Stop going out so much. Cook more at home. Uh, stop spending so much on clothes and shoes. Try to save and keep up what you have. And the best way to survive this is to start saving more. And people are like, well, how can you save the more, more when I got this, that, and the third? Trust me. Even when you pay your bills, you have something left. And even that something can go towards your savings. Even if it's $20, put it towards your savings because that money is not taxed. That's the part that people don't realize. Whatever you put in your savings is after tax. So it can't be taxed again. And you can save up two and three thousand dollars. That's an extra two and three thousand dollar cushion on top of the income you already got coming in. And I guarantee you it would make things a little bit more easier until we get things situated with this White House. You have some breaking news before I get into your comments, uh, and it's it's big. I'm not going to lie. This is a big endorsement for Kamala. It's bigger than LeBron James. Um, I'm scared now. This election could be lost given this endorsement. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this celebrity to speak out and say to vote for Kamala. It's bigger than Taylor Swift. And the reasons listed here are actually valid. I'm now thinking about voting for Kamala. All right, guys, let's, um, it's sexy red. S-E-S-Y-Y-R-E-D. She's come out and here's what she has to say. Um, Let's see. It's on Twitter. She just tweeted this. I just voted. Don't tell us what to do with our coochies. She had me scared for a minute. I ain't going to even lie. She had me scared as hell. About to get no damn about no goddamn sex red. Kamala for president. <sighs> Guys. <laughs> It's over. It is over. Kamala's gonna win. She's gonna win. Somebody came out and said, don't tell us what to do with our coochies. And I don't see how any woman can resist that. I don't see how any man can resist that call. I think it's over. It's over now. And so we should all just hang it up. We should hang it up. I'm done with the genealogical series. Sexy Red has taken me out. And so ladies, you know what to do when somebody comes out and tells you what to do with your coochie or whatever. Vote for Kamala. You vote for Kamala. Well, I'm going to say this. I'm going to leave it here. I definitely won't be telling you what to do with your coochie. Okay? It's not my job. I don't care what you do with your coochie. Ladies, do what you want with your coochie. But I will say this. We have to keep fighting because it's stuff like this that's going to keep being pushed out. And, 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 and for some reason, it matters to some people. Right? So we got to push forward with what we have been doing, right? A lot of people that sit back and watch my videos, there's a lot that you can do. You know that on YouTube, even in your YouTube app on your phone, you can go in and clip some of these videos. Like it's something called Remix. You can take that video and you can post it as a short on your page. And you can also download that short and post it on other social media sites, right? Did you know you can do that? And if you didn't know, just try it because we have to get this out. There's a lot you can do just sitting at home. You don't have to just sit here and watch my videos or watch videos that are like mine. There is so much we can do to make sure that this race is going the way that it's supposed to go. And, you know, I mean, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. You can just continue to watch, but make sure you hit that like button, too. <laughs> but anyways, I could rant. But I won't. And with that being said, do what you will with that information. And hey, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. Jump in the description, follow all of my social medias. And remember, challenge the argument and not the person. And if you want to watch more dope videos, click on my last one.